Hello and welcome to our program, Let's Talk About Mental Health. Bakit ako mahihiya? Yan po ay um, isang linya ng paboritong awitin na nagsasalaysay ng damdamin ng isang tao. Bakit nga ba tayo nahihiya kung meron tayong mga miyembro na familia na merong mental illness, ano ho, mga mental issues. Yan po ang pag-uusapan natin sa uh, episode ng Let's Talk About Mental Health. Mga kaibigan, we are very honored to have with us dalawa pong magagandang mga dalaga. Ngayon po ay reunion ng mga taga Bicol. <laughs> okay, yung isa dalaga, yung isa hindi. Ano ho? Okay, so I will be introducing to you ang ating mga guest for this episode. Ang isa po ay uh, siya po ay registered psychologist at um, in progress ang kanyang doctorate in counseling psychology. Siya po ang chairperson or chairperson ng psychology department ng Adventist University of the Philippines. Siya po ay isang mental health practitioner. Certified Assessment Psychologist. Ang mga affiliations niya, siya ay associate ng Psychological Association of the Philippines, member ng ASEAN or Asian Association of Social Psychology, and consultant po siya ng Department of Health Private Rehabilitation Center. At um, marami pa po siyang mga trainings na napuntahan but I will just mention yung training na ng UPPGH sa Psychiatric Department or Psychiatry Department Clinical Psychology. And then we also have, okay, ang pinapakilala ko po ay si uh, Sister Myrtle Orbon from Iriga City. Magandang araw po. Salamat po sa pag dito sa programa ito. We are very, very honored po. And then, ang sunod naman pong ating bisita, uh, siya po ay isang preventive health educator. She completed her Doctor of Public Health from Adventist University of the Philippines. Siya ay uh, nagtapos ng Masters of Arts in Nursing from Monash University sa Malaysia. And uh, nagtrabaho po siya for many years as Health Director for Malaysia Adventist Mission sa Malaysia. And currently, she is the Chair for Public Health Graduate Department of Adventist University of the Philippines, Dr. Jane Butabaraya. Thank you for having me here. Ay, maraming salamat, at, uh, maraming salamat po sa inyo. Uh, salamat talagang malaki sa inyong dalawa sa pagpapaunlak sa imbitasyon ng, uh, ng aming Hope Channel. Okay, so ang pag-uusapan po natin ay about stigma. Mm -hmm. no? Ano ba ang stigma? Mm -hmm. Ayun. So, ang stigma po, uh, ito po ay nagsisimula sa isang ating pananaw na ang isang tao ay kakaiba sa mga ka taong ka kinakasalamuhan niya or mm -mm. the people he is, she is with. Like for example, I have a different activity, I have a different trait, and that makes me different. Now, siguro maraming nagsasabi na, ay pag may mental illness, mayroon kang parang stigma yan. Mm -hmm. Ayun, kasi mm -hmm. if we will look at it, someone with mental illness, ay the way the person behaves ay hindi nga po talaga katulad ng karamihan. Mm -hmm. So, may, meron po siyang nararanasan na kakaibang behaviors at hindi naman niya yung napi, kumbaga po, hindi naman niya yung ginusto. <coughs> And that's part of the characteristics or manifestations of someone like with ADHD, malikot, someone with depression, talagang nalulungkot siya na hindi naman niya yun, mm -hmm. kumbaga po ay sadyang sinasadya kasi as part of the manifestations or symptoms of the illness. Now, nagkakaroon ng stigma kasi ikumpara natin siya sa katulad niyang edad, siya ay mayroon kakaibang mga symptoms. Mm -hmm. And that's what make the person parang, ay, nasistigmatize. And nalilabel siya. Mm -hmm. Ay, mukmukin siya. Masyado siyang tahimik. Mm -hmm. Am I right, Dr. Yes. Jane? Um, uh, uh, may may yung... ano nga yung dagdag natin doon na concept in public health perspective? How... Yes, because stigma doesn't just happen mm -hmm. one time off. Mm -hmm. um, It's a process eh. Mm -hmm. It starts with labeling. Mm -hmm. Normal and abnormal. Oh, Napaka, oh. Yun, na, uh, yun na lang yes. na abnormal, na abnormal na bata. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ano yan, uh, common yan sa atin. Uh, 
sasabihan na abno ka, mm -hmm. sasabihan na stupid ka, you know, uh, sira ulo ka. Mm -hmm. And it, it happens in a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, if a person is slow in thinking, in thought, oh. sasabihan na kaagad na abnormal. So, oh. nalilabel siya kaagad. Mm -hmm. And from there, na-stereotype siya, mm -hmm. na hindi siya normal. Mm -hmm. So, parang may division na doon kaagad. Oh. These people are normal, this one is not normal. Mm -hmm. So, stereotype. Mm -hmm. And then, from there, discrimination takes place. Mm -hmm. So, yes. ganun yung proseso ng mm -hmm. pag-ano natin ng stigma. Kaya nahihiya yung mga, you know, mga relatives, mga kamag-anak, kung right. meron silang, uh, meron silang kamag-anak na merong mental illness, no? Hindi nga lang mental illness, ano? Bakit mm -hmm. nga ba tinatago yun? Mm -hmm. Dahilan sa... Yes, because... People become embarrassed because the, it, it, it's not the norm, eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi yan yung normal, and people don't want to ta to to to, um, to talk about it. Parang tabu yan. Bakit, it's a tabu. Bakit nga may tabu? Yeah, I, I think one of the Filipino perspective po ano na parang ay ano yan kinahihiya disgrace in the family mm -hmm. kapag merong mm -hmm. ganitong sakit. Mm -hmm na parang, ay lahi pa man din ng mga ganito yan. Yes, correct. <laughs> Matatalino pa naman, nasobrano pa din mo, kaya naabno. <laughs> oh, oh, parang ayun. ganun. So yeah. parang, oh. it, it shows a disgrace, mm -hmm. social disgrace, and hindi siya tanggap sa community. But, mm -hmm. is it a disgrace? Yun, yun ba yung question? Yes. Ano? Kaya yun uh -huh. talaga. It's a, you know, napaka napakahirap sa gutin. Uh -huh. Komplikado. Uh -huh. Parang loaded na question yun. Is it a disgrace? Okay. Um, as I'm a public health professional, right? And then we, we look at everyone the same. Mm -hmm. uh, may kanya-kanya tayong mga kahinaan, may mga kanya-kanya tayong strength. Mm -hmm. Pero minsan kasi, hindi po rin ma maiiwasan na matawa eh. Uh -oh. you know? uh -oh. uh, yung mga audits nila. Tumatawa tayo, not because, uh, the, not because ina-undermine natin yes, yung, correct. yung personality, yung person, mm -hmm. pero yung sa situation. Yes, correct. Uh -oh. okay, for example, one time, um, we, we were sending our niece to school, and sa school, school nila, merong isang bata na talagang uh, uh, odd, a bit uh -oh. odd. So, meron siyang dalang laruan na para siya nagta-traffic police. Mm -hmm. So, he would put us uh, a red light uh -huh. and then uh -huh. everyone has to stop. Uh -huh. And then, pag bumaya-maya, i-anuhin uh, uh, niya ulit yung red light, go. ay yung, yung green light, uh, go, go na, na naman. naman. So, tawa kami ng tawa. Uh -huh. But then, someone, um, my, my niece was saying, you should not laugh, you know. Uh -huh. But nakakatawa yung sitwasyon. Uh -huh. Kaya so, nga, uh -huh. it's... Kaya dapat ma maisip ng may mga kamag-anak na hindi naman actually tinatawanan yung ano Correct. yung person yes. Uh, yes. But, but the situation yung iba nga hi, hindi ano hi, it's not to undermine pero yung iba ay na, na appreciate mm -hmm. nga no di ba yeah. na appreciate nga na oh Ah, uh, akala natin odd mm -mm. or abnormal pero meron lang siyang kakaibang ano right. be behavior. Yes. Totoo po 'yan. Oh. To add on to that, ma'am, no. Mm -hmm. Parang natutuwa tayo sa person pero hindi naman natin ibig sabihin binubuli natin mm -hmm. siya. But we actually love mm -hmm. kung ano yung ginagawa niya. Pero at some point kasi may mga iba na extreme yung ginagawa mm -hmm. na at, at na parang may mga dumarating na ay kakaiba na siya kaya minsan natatakot na yung iba mm -hmm. na baka kung ano yung gawin tapos sasabihin ay anak ka ni ganyan bakit ganun yung ginawa mo mm -hmm. o, o. so parang that shows na may mga minsan uneducated po yung mga nasa community and that could be one of the reasons kung bakit tinatawag na lang ay kahiyan yon pero mm -hmm. the truth is I don't think it's really kahiyan but, mm -hmm. but there is really this poor education That's much right. more mm -hmm. the acceptance part of the family Kasi there are some instances na sa ibang lugar po, ano, hindi nila kinaya, talagang they're happy about yeah. it. Oh, they yes. go oh, to the yeah. malls. Oh, oh. Yeah. And, it, and it doesn't really mm -hmm. hurt yeah. them at all. Kaya nga, uh, malaking factor yung acceptance, uh -uh. no? Uh, sa, sa akin, no? Pero malaking factor ang acceptance. Pag in mo na, oh, talagang may anak akong ganito, mm -hmm. no? Uh, uh, kakaiba lang yes. ang, ang ugali, but... He's a part of the family. Correct. Pagkatapos, he's just different. And I love him. Mm -hmm. And kung ikaw mismo hindi mo kinakahiya, sino pa ang... That's right. Diba? Mm. Sino pa ang mag-undermine at uh, titingin dun sa yeah. so, anak mo? So, I, I mm. think 
it should start from from the, the family, family again. That's oh. right. Uh, so public health, ang tawag dyan ay socio-ecological model. Mm -hmm. Na ang pag, ano talaga natin sa pag-atake sa mga ganitong issue ay it starts from the individual mm -hmm. and then the, the family mm -hmm. and, the, and friends and then the community mm -hmm. and then the, the whole society. Yeah. So dapat sa individual, magkaroon ng openness. Yes. Na oh. talagang ma-open niya, ma-accept ma niya rin sa sarili niya na ganun siya. Maintindihan niya kung ano nangyayari sa kanya. Mm -hmm. And the family needs to be open-minded mm -hmm. na talagang i-accept at i-embrace yung peculiarity yes. ng, kanilang, mm. ng kanilang anak. And then only the society will we be able accept. to yeah, accept. Kasi, o oh, tingnan mo, normal naman ang yes. living nila sa family. So, uh, may acceptance yeah. din sa, sa community. That's oh, right. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, no? All right. Well, the other one po na I noticed, yung binagin nyo kanina na uh, sa family nag-start mm -hmm. and even the person must accept. But there are some uh, mental illnesses po na wala talaga silang insight at all. I'm mm -hmm. actually sick. Okay. So, parang with mm -hmm. that, that wala silang idea na ay hindi na okay yung functioning ko mm -hmm. and the ones are aware uh, the ones who are aware mm -hmm. na mayroon silang problema ay yung family mm -hmm. so with that yung mga taong like for example talagang wala na sila sa reality the way they talk mm -hmm. pwede pong makategorize as probably having schizophrenia mm -hmm. yung talagang delusional yes, na yes. and they have no idea that they're talking uh, na sa na wala na sa reality ano mm -hmm. po so anong yari yung family na yung talagang they're trying to hide mm -hmm. wag ka na lumabas ng bahay yeah. and oh, oh, history oh. back then po will tell us that these individuals are actually uh, parang kinukulong pa po noon mm -hmm. ayun, ayun yun so, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, which is mm -hmm. not good pero maganda na ngayon with the new law yes. that we have it is not actually advisable but rather to receive treatment correct okay mm -hmm. the Actually, the bottom line here is education. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I mean, it, it is really good that the president signed the mental mm -hmm. health law. Uh, and we are baby steps. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, very behind na tayo mm -hmm. eh. Uh, but it's a good start mm -hmm. na, na talagang ang education ipa, ipa igting talaga sa local government unit, sa families, mm -hmm. uh, sa mga organizations. Ang, ang mental health issues, mm -hmm. yung mga demarcation, yung uh, kung paano natin sila i... i um, itataguyod. I, yeah, mm -hmm. itataguyod kung paano yung referral system, mm -hmm. kung paano sila maka-access ng care, mm -hmm. napaka-importante oh. talaga yan. And, and uh, I think that is uh, elaborated mm -hmm. dun, sa, dun sa mental health law. No? Yes, definitely. Oh, dun sa mm -hmm. So, na, na, napaka-fortunate natin, yun nga lang, um, hindi pa masyadong naibabahagi. Yes. Kaya we, we need to have massive information drive. Yes. And that is what we are doing now. That's true. No? So, um, okay. So, Ngayon, um, merong ako, alimbawa, meron akong anak na merong, ano nga to, merong mental illness. Mm -hmm. Pagkatapos, uh, ikinakahiya ko. No? Ang iba, itinatani kala. They are being chained. Na, na, nalalaman nyo ba yes. yun? Na there are some with mental illness na they are being chained. And then, mas lumalala. Di ba? Mas mm -hmm. lumalala ang, ang sitwasyon. What could be ano, worst? than ano yung uh, mental illness ko mm. kung eh chine chain mo siya pagkatapos ikinakahiya mo siya itinatago mo siya anong mangyayari dun sa person <laughs> yeah I, I think with that no with that kind of situation lalong lalala yung <laughs> situation oh. ng bata and much more hindi ma-address may naging recent case po kami niyan sa, sa sa recent training ko sa PJH parang for the longest time yung yung babe ay not really baby parang bata pa siya nagsi seizure siya mm -hmm. so yung sabi nila ay ano lang kaya normal lang yan na seizure parang siguro baka normal lang or what pero pero di ba po ang seizure if, tama ba ma'am parang one of the symptoms of epilepsy mm -hmm. ayun yes. and then merong comorbidity of some mental illness but then ang nangyari sa magulang since hindi nila ina-address yun it's a problem mm -hmm. hindi nila ni refer for psychiatric mm -hmm. help or for psychological mm -hmm. help or even medical doctor. Mm -hmm. So, to make the long story short, two years yata may ganong sitwasyon yung, oh, okay. yung bata. Mm -hmm. And then, nung na-check na, na nung doctor, lalo pong lumala. Yun na nga. Mas oh, mahirap oh, oh. po tuloy matulungan. Oh, Kung yes. in the long run, hindi na siya, para in the first place pala, hindi natin yung na-address oh, kung paano uh -huh. matulungan. That's exactly physically. my point. Kaya sabi child. ko, uh, it can be uh, worse mm -mm. kung walang preventive measure Correct. na nagawin. Na no? Kaya nga, um, ano ba ang mga dapat gawin mm. ng mga nanay o ng mga tatay o ng family members na merong kamag-anak na may, uh, mm -hmm. may mental illness? 
uh, instead na itago sila ano ang dapat nilang gawin para maagapan. Mm -hmm. Meron na nun, pero yes. pwede pang maagapan na magkaroon ng komplikasyon. Yeah. Uh, it's a collaborative effort. Um, hindi lang sa family, pero sa komunidad din. Mm -hmm. Sa uh, sa policy ng government. Mm -hmm. Meron na tayo nun, pero yung implementation natin sa primary health care, mm -hmm. sa barangay level, mm -hmm. parang wala pa. Mm -hmm. You know, sa, sa barangay health center, meron tayong DOTS, TB. Mm -hmm. Meron tayong maternal and child care. Pero wala tayong section for mental health. Okay. So, para sa akin, as a public health person, yun talaga ang dapat paigtingin ng mga LGU. Kasi kahit na nga, halimbawa, sa family meron ganun, saan namin to dadalhin? Pupunta kami sa private hospital, it's very expensive. We can't even afford that. Yung mga psychiatric help, yung mga gamot pang iinumin nila. So, to me, I see it like dapat sa primary health yes. level, oh. doon talaga dapat lagyan ng section sa Barangay oh. Health Center oh. ng ganitong um, mental health na section. Facility. Na mag, yeah, facility. Oh. Or, yeah. tama ka. Kasi, um, sabi nga sa, sa World Health Organization, mm. na by year 2020, the number one uh, uh, number one mental illness mm -hmm. would, would be yeah. depression and number two daw yan yeah. when mm -hmm. it comes to morbidity and yes. mortality so it will even surpass correct yung, uh, cardiovascular disease cancer yeah. stroke ngayon ang ang gobyerno ngayon ay porsigido mm -hmm. na um, labanan ang yeah. droga Mm -hmm. And doon pa lang sa barangay level, meron na silang mga badak, mm -hmm. barangay anti-drug abuse yes. council. Yun ngayon yung ano yan, um, yun ngayon ang nagbibigay ng mga programa no para mm -hmm. sa mga drug surrenderers. Mm -hmm. And I think your point what you are saying is kagaya ng mga ng drug prevention yes. na nasa barangay level, we should also come up. Yes. The government should come up kung hindi pa naisip ng gobyerno, siguro mm -hmm. yun ang nasa yeah. sa barangay yes. come up with 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 the barangay mental health committee Correct. or yeah. yeah. Pa, merong merong sinasabi ang uh, mga psychologists na meron na PFA, psychological mm. first aid. At yung psychological first aid uh, could be done in in the barangay yeah. level. Uh, so so yun that kasi parang first aid yun uh, sa sa mental mm -hmm. may mga mm -hmm. biktima ng disaster. Yeah. So I think kayong mga na mm -hmm. ano nasa psychology department, mga health education department, let's come up with with uh, ganun mga PFA for yes. For, for mental, the, mentally mental health, Ill, yes. Mentally I actually Ill agree with that, Doc, because uh, recently there are, I sorry, there are recent studies that na have proven that if there is access to primary health care, mm -hmm. they have access to local government unit, the rates of suicide, the oh, yes, rates of depression. I, mm -hmm. And I think, ma'am, it was one of the research conducted in your department, am I right? Yes, uh, one of my students conducted uh -huh. that mental health for teens. Mm -hmm. And um, during the time that she was conducting it, talagang bumaba yung kanilang mga depress mm -hmm. depression. Mm -hmm. uh, so, talagang pag... I in avail available yung mga support group na ganyan mm -hmm. sa community level the awareness heightened the education heightened and then mm -hmm. na na pi prevent talaga ang mental health problems sa community so okay so we talked about ano uh, sa community mm -hmm. um ang church ba meron bang mm -hmm. magagawa sa 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 stigma na yan definitely how can the church uh, yeah. help in combating stigma yeah i think a lot pero honestly po no sa perspective ng psychology there are some instances kasi na um, not really all po pero several or some parang hindi open to seek psychological help may mga ganon so parang isa po yun sa barriers for them to access psychological help parang they they don't respect the psychologists na parang ay okay lang yan ipagpray mo ganito mag bible study tayo there's nothing wrong with that but then to emphasize the need for psychological help even for psychiatric yes, checkup yes. must be encouraged much more kung yung symptoms talaga Correct. nandun na. Mm -mm. Ayun. So, lalo na kung suicidal, mm -mm. right? I think it calls for emergency help. Mm -mm. Ayun. So, the I, church would really matters a lot. Oo. Diyan kasi sa church, um, ang, ang church kasi, it's another, it's one big family mm. na dun mo, ma, dun mo mararamdaman na, you know, yung love, yung mm -hmm. care, yung, yung nurture. Kaya nga, sabi nga sa, uh, yung mga dalubhasa, 
dalhin mo lang siya sa church kahit kahit magingay yan sa sa church as long as uh, he or she is inside the church and can feel the love and warmth mm -hmm. of of the church members is already one way yeah. na ano pinapakita mo dun sa dun sa bata na may mental illness na Oy, kahit ako kakaiba, accepting, accept, uh, uh, accepted ako. Yes. Uh, but the church members needs to be Educate. aware. Educated. Oh, yes. <laughs> they, they need to be aware also. We can be service providers, but uh, sometimes sa loob ng simbahan, tayo rin ang nagkakaroon ng stigma sa ganyan eh. <laughs> Kaya so, nga, yan ang pinakauna <laughs> dapat nating oh, oh. i-break. Kaya nga, <laughs> ang, ang ano natin, uh, we, have to, we have to educate, but, you know, uh, yung mga church members talaga have to have a, you know, um, hands that, that, that would embrace, yes, yes. you know, kahit na yung may mga mentally ill. Correct. O hindi lang mentally ill, yung may mga, may mga karamdaman yes, yes. O, na ikinakahiya ng iba. Okay, so we talked about community, we talked about the church, mm -hmm. how about the family? Na, mm. Sa palagay ko, yun ang pinaka-importante. Yes. Yeah, oh, yun talaga. Uh, kaya nga sa socio-ecological model, ang family ang second mm -hmm. level. Kasi sila talaga ang second level ng support. Individual and then the family. Mm -hmm. So, um, they, the health education, the mental health education need to be tailored to the family na mayroon talagang pangangailangan ng ganun. Okay. Uh, if, if you, now, mm -hmm. um, Ikaw, ikaw na ang nagka-craft mm -hmm. ng ano, yeah. yung tinitailor-made mo na yes, sa akin yes, na meron yes. akong ano yan, meron yes. akong a, a, ano ang mga mga contents mm -hmm. no, nung mga mga gagawin mm -hmm. well, ng mga family. Uh, first of all, yung mga risk factors muna ang ititingnan mo, bakit nagkaganon? Mm -hmm. Is it because of the genes? Is it because of peer pressure mm -hmm. na nagkaroon ng negative influence? Is it um is it the personality of the person as well, the lifestyle? And then yung family, titignan mo rin yung dynamics ng family. Palagi bang nag yung mga parents kaya nagkaganyan? Uh, may mga unresolved conflicts ba na uh, hindi pa na na-address uh, na until now? So it has to be known first. So, yun yung muna niya address. Yes. You have to know the root cause yes. first. Oh. Yeah. Siyempre, kasi mamiya, paimbabaw lang pala yun, oh. di ba? Yeah. Uh, superficial yes. yung ginagawa kasi hindi yung root cause. Uh, yes. to, yeah. to add on to that po, I think it's important for us to also consider the protective factors. Mm -hmm. Kung ano yung makakatulong sa kanya para wag nang lumala yung situation. Within what, the family. Yes. You know? uh -oh. Tsaka protective factors din po sa school. Mm -hmm. Kasi one of the most important avenues for, for education, I guess, and I believe is it's really university or school. Mm -hmm. So kung yung mga schools na affiliated, kung i-relate ko dun sa mga activities na pwedeng gawin. For us, it's really a challenge sa ecology department to disseminate education and campaign mm -hmm. para yung family sa grassroots level ma-reach out sila at yeah. magkaroon ng proper knowledge on how to actually address mm -hmm. and manage yeah. those individuals with actually, mental illness. Actually, counselors have can get access to the houses yeah. of the of the student no? and yes, they normally do interviews and they okay. assess the risks oh, oh, yeah oh. of the family so that's good no na, yeah. that's good to know na nagsisimula sa family the family should have a you know a a, 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 a a happy, a happy link mm -hmm. to the individual. Yes. Kailangan na mag, siya, siya ang source of joy, source Correct. of love, so, yes. source of compassion. Because uh, uh, supportive, uh, ano yan, uh, ano na ngayon, protective. Protective. Uh, protective, protective factor. Then, sunod doon, family, number two, ano na nga? Uh, the community. community. Yes. So, Which includes community. either school, school or church, the barangay. Or the barangay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh, yun na yun. Uh -huh. So, pag merong ganun, siguro, I, it's, ka, that is Wala really the, well, <laughs> that is the model that that really will work sa mm -hmm. sa ganitong klase you need to involve in collaborate lahat ng mga agencies na pwedeng tumulong sa sa tao na may mental illness okay yeah. now um marami na ngayon ang uh, may mga may mga kamag-anak na may mental illness mm -hmm. uh, mental issues mm -hmm. ano yung uh, masasabi nyo your last word parting <laughs> words uh, sa mga taong ikinakahiya pa rin ang mga kamag-anak na may mental illness um it, I'm sure it's not an easy task <laughs> for yeah. someone with that kind of uh, uh, person uh, you're taking care of. Mm -hmm. 
lahat ng resources so ubusin mo para sa anak mo mm -hmm. lahat ng avenues you will you will try all the possibilities um, but the first level is really acceptance mm -hmm. when you don't accept you will not love yeah so, <laughs> tama, so tama. i think that 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 is the very barrier that you have to uh, buwagin mo muna yan mm -hmm. i-accept mo mm -hmm. in totality Kayo kung mismo. sino man yan and then love the person without ifs without buts and without whys mm -hmm. i know it's not easy but uh, again it's a step of faith mm -hmm. for every family and uh, i hope that they will really um, be blessed by the lord as they continue to love this kind of you know uh, oh. this this people okay thank you dr yeah. j yeah for for me naman there will always be blessings in this guys so if we find it heavy for us to have a family member or friend with mental illness wag po tayong matakot at wag natin ikahiya ayun so wala pong masama na nakasama sila sa labas kasi they deserve to be loved and to be treated very well mm -hmm. and in the end it will make a fam a happy family and a happy community okay <laughs> thank you so much dr jane uh, dr orban so maraming maraming salamat po we'll be right back right after this isang paglalakbay. Minsan mahirap, minsan ay madali. Subalit ang taong lumalakad sang ayon sa mabuting payo at ang kaniyang ligaya ay sa Panginoon ay siyang tulad ng isang kahoy sa tabi ng tubig na nagbubunga ng masagana. Welcome back. Dito po sa program natin na Let's Talk About Mental Health. Ito po ang inyong kaibigan, Lalaine Siron Alfanoso. And at this time, I would like to introduce to you our guest or resource speakers. Meron po tayo dito ang isang um, ma matipunong lalaki. Ano ho? Siya ay registered psychometrician, my master's uh, MA in counseling psychology, and then Instructor po siya sa Adventist University of the Philippines ng Positive Psychology. Siya po ay isang mental health practitioner. Ang affiliation niya, siya ay associate ng Psychological Association of the Philippines at member ng Philippine Mental Health Association. And I would like to introduce to you Mr. Ralph Guanco. Thank you for having me here once again. Thank you also for accepting our invitation. And then we also have... Uh, the chair of the graduate psychology ng Adventist University of the Philippines, registered guidance counselor, and uh, siya po ay nagtuturo both in the graduate and undergraduate level sa Adventist University of the Philippines, and ang kanya pong, ang kanya pong counseling profession ay 23 years na. So mga kaibigan, pinapakilala ko po sa inyo si Dr. Mylene S. Gumaraw. Thank you, Ma'am Lalaine. This is my third time to be with you in this program. Ah, okay, parang first time pa lang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> parang first time pa lang ngayon kasi uh -huh. magkakaroon na naman tayo ng bagong huntahan. Okay. Okay, we will be discussing about, you know, how to combat stigma. Marami yeah. na kasi uh, napag-usapan uh, sa unang segment uh, kung ano ang stigma, mm -hmm. bakit may tabu sa stigma, mm -hmm. bakit ikinakahiya mm -hmm. ang, ang stigma. Um, and we talk about the different advocacies uh, sa church, sa community, mm -hmm. sa school, as well as sa, sa family. So, mm -hmm. we, we talked about it already. Ngayon, ang, um, ang aking concern, what if meron na talagang individual na na-label na? No? Mm -hmm. no? Di ba? Meron nang na-label. Kapay-kapay. We call it kapay-kapay <laughs> in, uh, in our dialect. Mm -hmm. Oo. Sinto-sinto. Mm -hmm. Or kaya yan ay abno. Mm -hmm. Yung parang ganun. Na-label na. Buang-buang. Na-label na siya. Ano ang mga interventions na pwedeng ibigay sa mga high-risk uh, individuals? Um, first of all, siyempre, uh, we have to um, recognize. Mm -hmm. Actually, mayroon tayong natawag na three-step intervention. Uh -huh. okay. So, the first one is to recognize. Okay. So, in recognition, 
uh, there are several things that you need to consider mm -hmm. in recognizing the individual's mental health. Okay. So the second one is the... Uh, are um, you going to elaborate yeah, on that the, the, later? I'm just um, uh, saying all the three first. Uh, you just want to so, enumerate the mm -hmm. three first, then you elaborate. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. The first one is recognition, is what okay. I have said. The second one is the uh, um, action. Mm -hmm. So you talk about it. Okay. And the third one is the assessment. The, the yung, yung una at yung pangalawa, kaya ting gawin yun. Everybody okay. could do it. But the last one, the assessment, should be done by a professional. Mm -hmm. I have a mental health practitioner, mm -hmm. a mental health professional mm -hmm. in that specific field. Okay, okay. So the first one, uh, when it comes to recognition, is um, we need to be aware. Recognition. Yeah, uh -huh. recognition. We need to be aware of the things that the person is um, presenting to you. Mm -hmm. For example, number one, mm -hmm. the cognition of the person, how the person thinks. Okay. How the person thinks. For example, tatanungin ko po kayo. How the high risk uh, individual thinks. Uh, how the high okay. risk individual thinks. Tatanungin ko po ang isang individual. Mm -hmm. For example, ilang taong ka na? Mm -hmm. Sino ang nanay mo? Mm -hmm. Saan ka pinanganak? Mm -hmm. na anong araw ngayon? <laughs> <coughs> Yun po yung mga basic questions mm -hmm. that could be answered ng mm -hmm. isang individual na tama pa yung pag-iisip. Mm -hmm. Pero if an individual, uh, uh, if individual's thinking is not okay, uh -oh. then the person would answer differently. Uh -oh. For example, tatanungin ko, anong pangalan mo? Uh, ako 14 si... 14 years old na. Uh -oh, 14 years old na. <laughs> ako ay... Uh, artista uh, yeah. na si Richard uh, Gutierrez. Uh, uh, okay, ganun. May feeling of grandiosity oh, na. No? <laughs> na yun, oh, sa kanyang cognition. The second one, first is the cognition. You re mm -hmm. need to recognize the uh, cognition of the person. The second one is the affect. Oh, uh, going back to recognition, recognition that uh, he is... Yeah. Uh, the visible oh, signs. Yeah, uh, uh, yung hindi na norm. Hindi, hindi na, na, hindi oh, na rapat. Oh, oh. So, number two is the affect or the person's emotions. Okay. So, you need to identify if the person is distressed mm -hmm. or having a, an anger problem. Mm -hmm. So, that's one indicator mm -hmm. ng uh, one mm -hmm. para ma-recognize mo yung isang condition ng isang individual. Mm -hmm. The third one, elaborate ko lang po para mas yeah, maintindihan yeah, yeah. natin oh, yung oh, oh. para mas ma-recognize natin uh -huh. or yung okay. those are the visible signs mm -hmm. ng isang tao na maaari nating matulungan. Mm -hmm. So, una, cognition. Second one, affect. The third one would be the speech. Okay. How the person oh. speak. Maaring mabilis masyado. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hindi na maintindihan ng isang... Oh, meron oh, na yung, ganyan. Nag-stutter na. Oh, Nag-stutter na. Uy, baka naman ano, baka naman ako ay mm. may <laughs> ano na, mental illness. <laughs> Kasi nag oh, okay. So, that's the third one. The fourth one would be the thought patterns. So, mm -hmm. thought yung patterns, kung paano siya mag-isip, kung mm -hmm. paano niya i-handle yung mga circumstances. Mm -hmm. Bigyan mo siya ng sitwasyon. Ano ang gagawin niya? Mm -hmm. So, maaring iba ang sabihin niya sa'yo. Like what? For, for example, sasabi, oh, Uh, ano ang gagawin mo kapag nagkaroon ng sunog sa isang sinihan? Oh. Isang, isang tanong lang yon. Okay. Maaring ang sasabihin niya ay iba. Ano? Um, sumigaw. Okay. Tama ba na sumigaw? Ang tamang, may mga tama dapat na gagawin. Isa, isabi sa uh, mani, police, oh, sa tumawag, police, sa tumawag sa bumbero. Sa ano. mm -hmm. Ang gagawin niya lang sisigaw. Uh -huh. Would that be okay? Would that be uh, deemed as normal? Kung sisigaw lang siya, sisigaw, ah, sisigaw lang siya ng sisigaw. Would that be okay? In, uh, kailangan dapat ma-assess natin yun kung tama ba. Isang, so, isang indicator lang yun. Oo. Oh, so, paano kung may, merong mga taong sasabing, sisigaw ako, sisigaw oh, for no, help. Nang may sunog. Cry sisigaw, for help. No. Or siguro yung, mag, asa, paano kung uh, may, may nasunog na anong gagawin mo? Eh di, sasayaw na lang. Oh yun. May mga ganun yung din yung po. Parang, parang ganun. Yung uh, out of the blue, eh, uh, yun, yun ang mga isasagot. Ganun ba? Kasi yung sisigaw, parang lahat ng tao Pwedeng ganun sumigaw. ang gagawin. Pwedeng sumigaw. Pero yung sisigaw lang talaga siya at walang gagawin, that's something different na. Nasisigaw lang sa sinihan habang nasusunong. Hindi siya tatakbo, mm -hmm. hindi siya maghihingi ng tulong. So that's one thing na dapat natin i-observe kung okay. mga ganun. One, ano, one explanation lang naman yun. And the fifth one would be the appearance. So, the person's hygiene, and tidy. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo sa mga ano, yung mga street, ano po natin dyan? Sa Hindi na nag ano ng balbas. Opo, mga ganun. Oo. So, makikita po natin sa kanilang pangangatawan Oo. kung hygienic pa ba sila, may problema ba sila doon. Oo. Kasi Hindi nga, na so that would affect Oo. the person. Kasi ang normal na tao, oh, eh, nagtutut brush, mm -hmm. naliligo. Mm -hmm. Oo. 
nagpapabango. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. So kung titignan po natin yon, those are the visible signs. Yun ang mga recognition. Yeah. Recognition. Yeah. Recognize so, the ide- visible signs. Parang recognition yeah. and identification. Yes. Oh, you oh, identify oh. those five things. Yeah. Oh. Mga ano lang po yun, parang indicators. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero hindi po natin masasabi na may abnormal na agad sila. Mm-hmm. There will be an assessment. Mm-hmm. Which in your case, uh, in your case, um, in your experience, mm-hmm. uh, Dr. Gumaro, meron na ba kayong uh, um, na-identify by using the the five? Uh, yes, uh, a lot. Actually, yung mga dapat i-recognize to add to what he said, recognition of the warning signs. Mm-hmm. Yung warning signs na activities or responses which is out of the blue or beyond, uh-huh, uh-huh. which is beyond mm-hmm. of what is supposed to be said, mm-hmm. beyond of what is supposed to be doing. Like for example, uh, may dinala sa'yo na client, mm-hmm. tapos apektado lang, uh, naapektuhan, umiiyak lang. Mm-hmm. Pagkatapos upon interview, mag, may hawak-hawak siyang something. Mm-hmm. Pagkatapos yung something na yun, hindi niya namamalayan, uh, mayroon ka rin dyan. Di ba sa office natin, may mga alcohol, may tubig, mm-hmm. tapos kung may hawak siyang bread or whatever, yung tubig, ilagay mo doon oh, sa, oh, oh, sa bread mo. So, it's something na hindi niya naalam kung ano yung ginagawa niya. And then, I have also experience asking an individual just to verify whether he is on the right thought pa. Uh, where are you at? I'm on the way to heaven meeting San Pedro <laughs> or I'm on somewhere else oh. na it's... O baka nag-joke lang naman. Uh, joke, pwedeng joke siya, pero malalaman mo ang joke based on the consistency uh-huh. and pattern okay. of, of so responses. So that's how you identify uh, a joke? Pattern of or, responses. Okay, oh. Like, yes. ulitin mo ulit yung tanong. Mm-hmm. Let's say, dalawa kayo. Mm-hmm. So, dapat kung may facilitator, may co-facilitator, mm-hmm. the same question will be asked, pero kung ang sagot is in a form of joke, mm-hmm. pwede pa rin mag-third question. Uh-huh. Pero kung ang sagot ay consistent na out of the blue, mm-hmm. o kung ang unang sagot, where are you at? nasa a guidance ka. Ang sagot mo, I'm on the way meeting San Pedro. Yung pangalawang tanong naman, <laughs> where are you at? I'm in Paseo, pero naandoon ka. Pero uh-huh. makikita mo naman sa mata kung siya ay nagbibiro or hindi. Uh-huh. And ang mga ganyang tao, based on appearance, blank ang stare. Uh-huh. Parang looking through, lampasan yung tingin. Naku. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hindi siya makafocus pagkatapos. Hindi yung, maka, maka, uh-huh. maka pagkatapos, icon. icon. Ay, well, no, eye contact pagkatapos. Habang kinakausap mo, may dinudukduk dyan or may ginagawang, may ginagawang iba. iba. Minsan nag-fidgeting sila or kung naiinis at yung source ng depression nila is hatred, meron siyang pupunit sila ng isang bagay or even their own clothes uh-huh. ay pupunitin nila. Okay. So, those are symptoms or signals na kailangang bigyan ng pansin. Okay. So, aside from recognition, we have action. Yes po. Okay. So, when it comes to action naman, Siyempre, kailangan natin, pag may nakita tayong mga ganun, hindi lang natin tititigan. Uh-huh. Tignan lang natin, uh-huh. uy, sintu-sintu, buang, man. abnormal. Sinasabihin or kaya ayos na ganun. ginagawa natin, mm. kawawa oh. naman mm-hmm. yun. Pero wala tayong ginagawa. Wala tayong ginawa. Oh, oh. Lalo na po tayo nasa ministry oh. na mga ano. So nakikita po natin yung mga kondisyon mm. ng ganun. Lalo na mga mental health practitioner mm. at yung mga normal na mga tao. Mm. Na kung saan nakikita nila na doon na nag uh, nagwawala, nakahubad. Mm-hmm. Wala silang ginagawang mga ano. Mm-hmm. So what action should we do? Pa anong gagawin natin bilang ano, concerned citizen? Mm-hmm. Alam mo may nakita tayong ano 'yan. Yun nga, sintu-sinto, may nakita tayong huba, hubot-hubad, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. no? A- alam mo ang mga taga Department of Social Welfare and Development, um, ayaw nilang ayaw na ayaw nilang makialam yung yung iba mm-hmm. kasi baka raw masaktan, sila. Uh, masaktan mm-hmm. or baka manakit mm-hmm. no or kaya baka dahilan sa merong tumutulong sa kanila pabalik-balik pa uli mm-hmm. uli na so ano yung action na sinasabi mo uh, um, kailangan talaga ng ano you initiate a conversation okay. just by talking to that person what Pwede so, yung talk yun, therapy. Opo, mm. pwede na agad. Kung baga, pwede nang maiano yun. Pero, depende po sa sitwasyon. Oo, oh, oh, baka naman hubutubad. <laughs> kailangan ko itong talk therapy. Inisit po ang conversation, pero na mayroong problem. Oo, pwede kang saktan. So, be careful din po sa mga ganong bagay. So, clarify, i-clarify mo situation. Anong nakikita mo? If you cannot, ano, if you cannot do something about it, re-refer mo talaga. Yes. I think that's the best. Mayroon ng tulong. That's the best thing that you can do. Oo. Halimbawa, may nakakita kang hubutubad nga kasi may mental 
illness. So, ang action natin doon is refer it mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to the agency concern. Mm -hmm. no? Opo. Lalo na po yung mga, ano, mga emergency cases, to, uh, psychiatric emergencies mm -hmm. tulad ng suicidal. Mm -hmm. Yan oh, ang pinakamatindi oh. dapat na ating uh, i-focus. Hindi oh. yan basta-basta lang na problema lang eh. It needs immediate attention oh. na kailangan talagang referral niya na maipadala agad sa clinic or any mm -hmm. na uh, facilities na nagdi-deal sa mental health. Mm -hmm. Minsan kasi uh, binabali, binabaliwala mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. or kinikibit-balikat lang natin. Minsan meron, meron kang nakatatanggap na, ano, na text message, oh, magsuicide na ako, dalihan mm -hmm. nyo na lang ako mm -hmm. ng, ano, ng bulaklak sa mm -hmm. kandila. Mm -hmm. no? Minsan may mga ganon. Aba, so, Uh, it's a cry for help. Yeah. No? yeah. Actually, I have one experience mm -hmm. sa dorm, mm -hmm. di ba? Uh, at the mid in the middle of the night mm -hmm. at 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. somebody at knock at my door. Mm -hmm. So, I immediately, uh, parang naalimpungatan mm -hmm. po ako eh. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pagbukas ko ng pintuan, Sir, can you help me, sir? Kasi nag-cut na po. Nag-cut na oh, oh. ng kanyang wrist. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos, kinausap ko, ang ano, oh, uh, uh, what's, what's the reason for that? Mm -hmm. Pero, tinawagan ko na agad ang parent, immediate, kasi immediate mm -hmm. concern. Immediate. Eh. Kailangan na talaga ng uh -huh. immediate attention yun. Uh -huh. So, agad-agad, pumunta ang ano, magulang uh -huh. at, sir, huwag niyo pong iwan. Kasi dapat talaga hindi sila iniiwan. Tama, eh. tama. Nandoon ka sa presence nila mm -hmm. uh, all the time bago dumating yung, si, anong, yung tulong. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Oo, oh, so we really have to make action uh -huh. and mm -hmm. it should be fast. Yes. Yeah, very yeah. fast. Yeah. Or yeah. else, it might be too late. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah. so um, we, uh, we're done with with recognition, action, and then, action. And then assessment. Yeah. Uh, before the assessment, can I uh, add something? Oh yeah, please. Okay, uh, sa educational setting like ours, um, mas maganda kung mayroong process flow. Mm -hmm. The process mm -hmm. flow, kung saan mo na recognize first yung recognition, mm -hmm. saan mo na recognize yung bata na mayroong nag mental health uh, mm -hmm. problem or concern. Mm -hmm. And so, kung may process flow, yung step-by-step -step procedure, mm -hmm. masusunod natin yun. Let's say, halimbawa, yung sinasabi mo, nakita mo na lang, umiiyak sa ilalim ng puno, or sa isang building, nag-iisa, umiiyak, anong unang gagawin? Mm -hmm. So, kung may process flow at known sa buong Bu campus, uh -huh. yung process flow, kung ako nakakita at kaya kong dalhin sa guidance or sa clinic, mm -hmm. nadalhin ko yan. Pero kung hindi, ang next step is ano ang dapat kong gawin? Mm -hmm. Tatawag ako ng security ba, ng yeah. guidance or personnel yeah. or ng uh, clinic. Pero ang medyo challenge sa atin is what if hindi sa educational institution, institution nangyari, no. let's say sa street. Mm -hmm. Nakita natin may hubot-hubad. Uh, kasi parang komo na yung taong grasa, mm -hmm. yung mga uh, hubutubad, ah siguro may matinding mm -hmm. problema, naglayas or what. So ano kaya ang magiging role natin doon? Mm -hmm. So ito is very hindi pa clear para sa atin lahat, mm -hmm. namamamayang Pilipino, ano ba ang dapat gagawin? Okay. Kasi like what you have mentioned na meron tayong mga boundaries, okay. minsan hindi tayo pinahihintulutan mm -hmm. ng mga law enforcers na makialam mm -hmm. dahil meron silang right procedure mm -hmm. na ginagawa para dyan. Okay. So, uh, maganda yun na may process flow. So, yes. everybody in the community and in the school mm -hmm. uh, school setting, mm -hmm. no, in the community, in the school so in setting, should know mm -hmm. the process flow or the mm -hmm. protocols yes. para kung may mangyari man yun, mm -hmm. kahit wala yung mga administrador, alam niyo alam kung, kung, kung saan i-refer. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's very good. Okay, so uh, going back to assessment. Opo, when it comes to assessment, it's not, hindi, hindi siya basta-basta lang ginagawa uh -oh. na assessment. That's who can why, assess? Mm, who opo. can do that? Um, psychologists, Uh, okay. Yung mga medical practitioners, they can do that assessment. What kind, what kind of assessment ang ginagawa? Um, assessment with, in, in depth assessment po ang ginagawa uh -huh, uh -huh. kapag yung ang, ang condition na ay matindi na. Mm -hmm. Hindi na basta-basta lang na condition na mm -hmm. uh, masakit ang tiyan, masakit ang ano. Pero yung mga tagang ano na, habi ko nga po uh -huh. kanina, suicidal cases. Mm -hmm. So that needs an in depth assessment, assessment talaga na kailangan uh -huh. talaga na ng ipupuntahin sa isang who can practitioners. Do that? Mga ano po, psychiatrists. Psychiatrists. Or psychologists, and psychologists. Uh, po, clinical okay. uh, or clinical practitioners oh, oh. who are trained to do that. Okay. So, oh. dapat trained talaga kasi hindi pwedeng basta-basta lang mm -hmm. na magaling ka dito, magaling ka dito. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi mo naman alam ang gawin dapat yung gawin. Right, procedure. right procedures. Okay, ayun po.
Okay, so i-refer mo siya either psychiatrist or psychologist. Now, kalimawa ako ay may kamag-anak na mm -hmm. uh, merong mm -hmm. mental, mentally ill, no, mm -hmm. na patient. And mm -hmm. then, how would I know kung saan ko siya i-refer? Psychiatrist ba? Sa, ano, sa psychologist ba? Kasi gusto kong ipa-assess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ano ang magagawa ng psychologist at ano naman ang magagawa ng psychiatrist? Okay. Uh, initially, kung... Uh, relatives, yung pinakamalapit. Let's say, uh, malapit ka sa school, so pwedeng pumunta sa counselor. Pagkatapos, sasabihin naman ng counselor, if the, the severity or the situation is beyond the capacity of the counselor to deal with, hindi niya gagawin yon. Pero may initial assessment siya. Katulad ng sinasabi niya kanina na recognition. So, upon arrival doon sa office, kung ano ang observation niya, yung mental health Uh, mental status examination, uh -huh. i-jot down niya yon. Uh -huh. Tapos, pag dinala na siya doon sa specialist, naka-attach na yung okay. observation niya. So, so, that's the process? Yeah, the process. Oh, Now, kung, kung kasi sasabihin ng counselor na uh, this is beyond my capacity to, to do the, so the assessment. Refer to the so, re-refer ko Magre-refer ako, then ako din ang tatawag na si Dr. So-and-so, may dalang pasyente, mm -hmm. so please accommodate. So, yung, yung mismong first person uh -oh. na pinagdalahan mo, siya ang magkocontact doon sa uh, tao na kung saan siya i -re refer So, the psychologist uh, usually do more ano, uh -oh. talk therapy, mm -hmm. counseling, mm -hmm. and then the psychiatrist... Psychiatrist bibigay mm -hmm. naman ng treatment, yung medication. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the assessment... Dun, dun sa yung ano? in-depth assessment uh, will be done by either psychologist or psychiatrist, psychiatrist or any clinical practitioner, trained clinical mm -hmm. practitioner. Pero yung simple assessment like yung MSE, mm -hmm. that could be done by guidance counselor. Okay, so yun nga, yung assessment cannot be done by by persons like me. No? So yun lang ay magagawa ng mga medical practitioners, practitioners or mental health practitioners. Mm -hmm. Okay, now... Um, gusto kong malaman ng ating mga listeners pati kung ano ba ang uh, rights mm -hmm. no ang uh, rights ba? ng mga ng mga mentally ill patients okay we have uh, many rights when it comes to um, concerning uh, mental health uh, patients Patient. or clients individuals uh, individuals like access to health care mm -hmm. so based on Republic Act 11036, mm -hmm. meron tayong mental health law. Mm -hmm. And the goal of this law is to promote the mental health of the individual. Okay. And so, uh, I just don't know kung yung pinirmahan ni President Duterte mm -hmm. just recently ay amended na ito, pero sa proposal, kasama doon yung this will be included in the PhilHealth. Okay. Uh -huh. So, kapag ka nagpag-doktor ka, nagpagamot pertaining to mental health, covered Pwede na siya na. ng PhilHealth. Okay. Kasi noon wala pa. Wala no? pa, wala oh. pa noon. At saka nagiging open na rin ang Pilipino sa pag-access ng mental health care. Kasi dati nga, nakakahiya. Mm -hmm. So, ngayon, uh, Pilipinos are becoming open to it because very rampant na ang cases ng mental health. Mm -hmm. And then, another one is access to education. So, anybody has the right for education, mm -hmm. pero may certain limitation yeah. also and boundary. Like, uh, we have to apply the principles of inclusion and exclusion. So, sa principle of inclusion, kahit na medyo mayroon kang difficulty, ikaw ay mayroong exceptionality, mm -hmm. so kailangang tanggapin ka at kung kinakailangang i-mix ka sa mainstream or doon sa like the majority, mm -hmm. then the school has no right to uh, reject mm -hmm. the individual. Mm -hmm. Maliban lang, pero may mga certain requirements ang certain uh, university or certain school na kailangang i-produce mm -hmm. ng parents. Mm -hmm. Like, clearance from uh -huh. developmental psychologist or psychologist or psychiatrist. Pwede ba siyang mag-aral? Mm -hmm. Ano ba ang mental capacity niya? Siya ba ay 10 years old, pang grade 1, pang grade 2, or uh -oh. saan na ba ang level niya? Uh -oh. So, may ganong clearance. Kasi meron din kaming experience na gustong mag-college kasi tinanggap sa isang eskwilahan because of, you know, yung sisterhood and brotherhood. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so, pero yung bata may manifestations ng tick disorder uh -huh. and uh, uh -huh. yung nanginginig-nginig. Uh -huh. Pagkatapos, nagsasalita siya ng walang kausap. Uh -huh. okay. And so, kapag i-mix mo siya, nadidistract yung marami. Uh -huh. So, ang ginawa ko ay naghingi ako ng clearance uh -huh. na kung pwede siyang mag-college. 
Pero ang sabi naman ng nanay, uh, meron na po, then binasa ko, ang nakalagay doon sa clearance cannot be mixed with mainstream. Oh, Pero ang sabi okay. naman ng nanay, nagbaka sakali lang po ako. Oh, okay. na Dahil since this is Adventist school, baka pwede. Mm -hmm. And so sabi namin, pwede din po training purposes pero but not yung, oh, oh. yung, yung formal education. Mm -hmm. So meron tayong inclusion and exclusion. Now, alin ang mga bata na i-exclude mo? Let's oh. say, hindi dineclare ng parents. Mm -hmm. So parang may counting partly may may deception. Mm -hmm. And then, along the way, na-recognize mo na ang bata may problem. So, kung disruptive na bata, yung destructive na yung bata, nakaka mm -hmm. na sa majority, mm -hmm. then the school has the right to okay. uh, make a suggestion whether for home study or online learning na Okay. Lang. So, um, there are many ways, no? Yes. Uh, so right, right, But they, um, have, they, have, they have the right for education. Right for education. Right. Okay. Um, two minutes lang, but uh, we, we have to wrap up. But uh, mm -hmm. this is very important, no? Why do we have to focus on mental health? Why is it imp important na mag-focus tayo sa, sa mental health, no? Um, uh, ayun pa. So according to the World Health Organization, there is one fact, and uh, fact number Kasi six. Yeah, there are ten facts, facts, but then again, but we'll, we'll just, just be focus on, <laughs> just, uh, facts focus on our number fa six. fact number six, okay. which is stigma and discrimination mm -hmm. against those with uh, mental health conditions <coughs> prevent them mm -hmm. from seeking mental health care mm -hmm. or mental or yeah, mental health care. So mm -hmm. difficulty nila yon, kasi nga they are stigmatized, uh -huh. they are labeled na baliw yung pamilya nyo, baliw oh, baliw oh, ka oh, sa pamilya oh, nyo. Sinto, sinto. So yun yung number one fact. Mm -hmm. Bakit natay kailangan magfocus? Because mm -hmm. maraming mga ganon mm -hmm. ng mayari sa atin. Mm -hmm sa kasalukuyan mm -hmm. sa society natin ngayon na nililabel mm -hmm. yung isang individual na baliw, mm -hmm. abnormal, mm -hmm. na yeah. dinadjudge agad-agad. Yeah. Yun. Okay. So, yeah. Sana yun. Yeah. So, uh, what's your last words? Parting words. Parting Hindi, words. Oh, parting oh, parting words. words. For those who have uh, mental health concern, uh, sana bigyan din natin sila ng, ng consideration mm -hmm. na sila ay human beings yes. din. Oh. Now, if ever, if ever they thought na Uh, totoo, the fact na hindi sila within the majority, they, they don't belong to the majority. Now, still okay kasi you just think of it. But if you put into action what you think, that is discrimination already. Mm -hmm. So we, we should not discriminate those because they are also human beings. Mm -hmm. okay. Then we can put ourselves into their shoes para maintindihan tama. natin kung ano ang nararamdaman. nararamdaman tama, nila. tama. Okay, Sir Ralph. Sa naman, sa ating mga manonood, um, Do not judge that we not be judged. Yes. Yes. So, kailangan natin huwag maghusga ng mga tao na hindi pa naman natin kilala. Mm -hmm. Kilalanin din muna natin yung sarili natin. Baka rin tayo mm -hmm. ay may mga kondisyon na kailangan din natin ng tulong. Mm -hmm. So, maraming salamat. Mm -hmm. Maraming salamat. Mm -hmm. So, um, napaka-ganda, interesanting, interesante. Maraming salamat, Dr. Mylene Gumaraw and uh, Ralph Guanco, Sir Ralph Guanco. Mga kaibigan, labanan po natin ang stigma. Ang mental issues ay ito po yung nakuha ko sa inyo, maalalayan, masusolusyonan, maagapan at magkakaroon ka ng kati katiwasayan ng kaisipan. So kung meron po kayong miyembro ng familia na merong mental health issues, go out because uh, go out and reach out no? kasi he could be helped. There is still hope. Maraming salamat po. Ito po ang inyong kaibigan, Lalain Saron Alfanoso.